Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I am a Night of Hunter on the Whisperwind server, and here I am in Ironforge, about to fly to Eastern Plagueland to run Strathom. Now Strathom is one of the instances where you can keep on grinding and farming, so that it can drop a very rare mount, uh, the Baron Riveter's Death Charger. So I'm in Eastern Plaguelands, and this cave is where you want to be if you have the key. If not, you want to be where it's labeled Strathom enter it and find the key from the magistrate boss. So if you have the key, open the door and go into the instance. Now I am a Beast Mastery Hunter and I'm going to show you how to run this instance in about 9 minutes or less. Going in here I will set my pet to stay so that it won't follow me. Now the reason I set it so that it won't follow me is that when the pet follows me, our aggro range is added together. And with all of these mobs in the very tight space, I want the lowest aggro range possible. And so that's why I set him to stay until he did, uh, dismisses himself. And I put on aspect of the pack so I can run as fast as possible through and in between the mobs. Now you really should be doing this at level 80 because you have a lot less aggro range and you'll be fairly powerful just in case you do pull something. Now as a hunter, if you pull something, you could just feign death or if you're a night elf like me, you could shadow melt and you can drop aggro from the mobs. So just weave yourself in and out of the mobs until you reach the first boss, the Baroness. Now for this boss, you need to remember not to summon your pet. Because if you do summon your pet, she will mind control you until you start fighting your pet and eventually kill him. Now, the pet won't really have a chance to kill you. The only thing is, it will waste about a minute, maybe a minute and a half of your runtime. So, once you get in the temple, when the door opens, send your pet in to attack the middle monster in the mob. What will happen is he will thunderstomp, aggroing the other four beside him, and then when he has the aggro, just AOE them down with falling. Let me just speed things up here. Going to the second boss, nothing really special, summon your pet and simply kill him, and then take care of the people inside the temple. Next, you'll get to this gate. You have to turn on aspect of the pack, run through it along the left-hand side of the wall as close as you can, as straight as you can, because as you saw, the gate will close and there are about 500 little mobs that try to kill you. They don't have much health, they don't hit very hard, but they just slow you down. For the spider boss, you need to summon your pet, attack him, and make sure you use the beast within, so that you will be immune to any CC skills that the boss has, which usually he will trap you down so you can't move, and then he will go into range attacking you. The only problem with that is he might aggro some other mobs that you didn't intend to fight originally. So you take care of the temple, go back out through the gate, make sure you AOE the bugs before you actually walk through so that they don't slow you down, and then just uh, continue going until you reach the Magistrate boss. You want to fight him and kill him. Just because later on you'll see when there are other mobs aggro you, uh, they might aggro the boss as well. And so there are about 30, 40 different mobs that come at you and you don't want a boss within those. So take him down, fairly easy. He might punt your pet back once in a while and drop aggro. But he's uh, very weak so for your level, you can take care of it. Next, go through this door. You don't have to dismiss your pet. You have to collect all the abominations. Now, if you're not strong, strong enough to do this, or your pet isn't high enough level, you don't have to take all the abominations at once. You can take them little by little, whatever number you're comfortable with. 
Now in this room, you have to kill all the abominations and then the door to the final boss will open. Yeah, want, you want to make sure that you rush into the door as quickly as possible. And then once you rush into the door, you aggro the abomination boss that comes out of it. You want to fight the boss inside the temple so that the door won't close you, close on you and lock you out. And next, finally, it's the boss of the instance, the one that drops the mount, Baron Riverdale. Just fight him, take him out. He will summon skeletons once in a while, and if you don't kill the skeletons fast enough, he will absorb their life and heal himself. But there's nothing you can't. see he healed himself. So just take him down and loot his body. If you have the mount, you'll know because it's the only epic item that'll drop. He'll usually drop three blue or rare items. Now the mount is only a 1% drop, so this run isn't for the faint of heart. Um, I ran this instance about close to 60 probably over 60 times before the mount dropped for me. I didn't want to see enough uh, this instance again for the rest of my life, but here I am again. So I'm going to disenchant all the items that I've gotten in this one run. And so after all this disenchanting, you can see it's not too much money, but it's quite a decent amount of money for about 10 minutes run. So now it's time to run back so that we can run the instance again. I set my pet to passive. The mobs will aggro you automatically as soon as you take a peek outside. Take them all out, send your pet or make your pet stay, and then just run out of the instance. So once you're out of the instance, click on Reset All Instances until it's reset, and then just run back in and rinse and repeat. I thought you guys might want to see the amount of all your hard work. Now this may not be so impressive for a horde, but for an alliance, it's just not something you can get. So it's a very nice looking mount. And here is the achievement, a feat of strength for getting the Death Chargers. Out. Thank you again for watching guys, and until next time.